were okay? Uh, we, we held them out a couple practices, just like any vet that uh, has earned that right. You know, where if, if they don't feel up to it that day, we're going to hold them out. So uh, that's more of what we've been dealing with with Nick. Can you say what the injury is? Nope. Are you uh, any more clear about your backup quarterback situation after Friday night? Um, no, I, I would say they're all, they all did a good job. I mean, we corrected all the film and graded them out. And, you know, they got one more game to compete two more practices to go so we knew it would be a competition of the whole camp and two games to decide on who will be the backup been through like the dog days of camp as a veteran so as a coach like how do you try to keep your vets engaged with you well that's a good word to use is engage them i mean uh, make it different every day our meetings are generally engaging uh, we try to make that a point of emphasis we talked about that as meeting room expectation is engage our players. All the meetings should be that way. So I think we do a pretty good job of trying to do that. Uh, obviously, camp's camp. I mean, anything over two weeks is a lot of time to spend uh, without much break of football. So we try to do a little bit of everything. And that's why, again, it's not always football in our meetings. We do a little bit of everything to kind of keep them, um, you know, that anticipation. Every time they walk into a meeting, you want them to be there. Coach, how much does, you know, the one practice today, you guys had a bunch of two-a-days uh, last time. Like, how do you have to be more efficient in what you want to do? Like, how do you determine, like, what's scaled back or what's not? Like, how do you get more organized than the just one? Well, I mean, it's just a matter of the amount of reps that you uh, put to each period and a, a number that you want to get through in a week. So we're trying to make this as close to a, a regular season practice as we can get, knowing full well how much how many reps we can get per day. So, you know, we got obviously got a little bit more players to deal with right now. So, you know, you can run a little bit more of the reps, but the way we structure our practice is very similar to how we'll do it during the season. And, you know, that's just something we've talked about as coaches and try to get situational football in there. And, um, you know, that's kind of how we gauge it. Something that popped up on tape from Friday that maybe you didn't realize as the game was going through that you kind of liked? Um, I mean, I, I, I liked the effort all, all over the board. I mean, that, that was something we talked about, toughness and effort, you know, the ability would shine through. And, um, you know, I just, I love the fact that guys, the, the effort level was extremely high during that game, as it should be, as you would expect for a first preseason game with guys playing their first game and wanting to make a great first impression. But all in all, I mean, that was what I was most proud of. And then how they played together and the celebration at the end with Maltos, carrying them off the field, that, that tells you our teams come together and they're excited about playing with uh, for one another. Sorry, were you more impressed with the comeback considering how late it was achieved and on the road? Yeah, I mean, anytime we talked, the great thing we talked about is in our camp, we talked about that situation. We said, the CFL, you can never give up. You, three minutes is where a lot of games are won, and you have to have that mindset that you're going to win those games and pull them out no matter what the score looks like. So to score nine points in the end in a minute 40, I don't think anyone was surprised it was possible, you know, but to make it happen is one another thing. So, uh, you know, I, I, th I don't think anyone was surprised. Um, I think they're all kind of, you know, looking forward to a, a situation like that. But anytime you get put in those situations, the best thing is to come out of it. So, and I think we did that well. Thank you, Jason. Thank you. All right, Cody. So you you had as a vet, you had a few days off. You didn't play uh, in the uh, the Ottawa game. I'm curious. Like, can you take me through what those days are like when you're back here in Three Rivers and everyone else is kind of getting ready to play? Yeah, it's uh, it's tough, especially when you watch the team uh, play and you feel like uh, you're not part of the team when you're not there, right? And an exciting win and the young guys, you know, one thing I kind of stressed to the young guys was that it's the first time we're going to put ourselves this new Alouettes brand on tape. And so they made us proud. They made a lot of us veterans proud, fighting till the end. And that's what happens in the CFL, right? It always usually comes down to the three minutes. Um, things were a little bit slow to start to be expected in a preseason game. But uh, for me, it was a mini bye week. Uh, it was a little bit uh, difficult coming out here, a little bit more uh, uh, nerves, I would say, like I'm starting camp over again because I think it was six days off or something like that. But, you know, I got the veteran guys together. We came out here. We did some walkthrough stuff, some light throwing, uh, did some running, just trying to stay in that camp shape. But, um, yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun to see these young guys get their opportunity and, and shine through it. Do you still, I mean, you've been around the league a long time. Do you still learn off the TV tape? Like when you're watching live, did you pick anything up? 
Absolutely. You know, now they got such great cameras and different angles that you see different things um, that normally you won't see on the sideline or, you know, even when you're out there. Um, I thought that the, quarter, the three quarterbacks that played, they, they did a great job. It wasn't an easy situation to be in. Uh, you can never really get into the flow that way, but that's what Coach Moss wanted to stress. And as a backup and myself being a backup in this league before, that's kind of how it goes is you never know when your number is going to be called and you got to be called upon to win the football game. So having them kind of switch in and out like that, I think it's only going to help them grow. And uh, I thought they answered the call tremendously, all three of them, and, and got the win and, and came home and, and everyone was excited for them. Break down your camp for me so far. Slow start, uh, timing came together, and uh, has f I felt like these last couple of practices I've really hit my stride um, going into this, uh, f my first preseason game playing. Uh, I'm just excited to get out there with live bullets again, get hit again, right? That's the hardest thing about camp as a quarterback is sometimes you get throws off that uh, you normally wouldn't in a game. But uh, I thought our guys up front have done a tremendous job against our defensive line that gets after the quarterback. Um, so, and our back end defensively doesn't make it easy on our receivers. We've had a couple guys banged up, so it's good to have a guy like Ellingson back in the lineup to get our timing. Um, but uh, for my, me personally, I feel like, uh, you know, I've had some much better days these last couple days. Uh, off to a slow start to be expected when you're with a new team, new players, and trying to get new relationships. Uh, can you give me the breakdown on, on Greg? What does he add to the offense? Just a veteran presence that's a, a possession receiver that can run by you, right? A lot of guys want to, a lot of people want to talk about his age. I'm seeing him run by guys still, right? And he's a guy who knows exactly what to do, where he's going to be at. And as a quarterback, it helps you throw things confidently when you have a receiver that knows exactly what yard line to break at, where to break at, when to break at. So having him, it's like having an extra quarterback on the field. He's seen just about every defense that I've seen. So uh, we've seen things together. And, uh, you know, I think we started off in camp like, oh, for our first four attempts and then we we went on a hot streak like nine for nine so uh like i said slow start but uh getting in the groove of things uh and getting back out there with, with him is it a discussion how much you get to play in the preseason games or is it really a one-way conversation and you're kind of being told as a competitor you want to play the all four quarters right especially not playing in the first game but um, i know that coach moss and, and management is going to do what's best for the team and so as the competitor in me i can't take that you know as they're you know not giving me a chance to go out there and have fun but uh if it was up to me, I would love to play as much as possible. Get in there, move the ball. That's my goal is move the ball, uh, score some points, get some touchdowns, uh, and, and protect yourself, be healthy, because you never want your season to be cut short in the preseason, right? So you always want to make it to that week one, um, but it's still a football game. you got to still find ways to protect yourself because guys are trying to hit you. So uh, I want to play as much as possible, but uh, I, I'm not really lobbying or pushing to, you know, any harder I, whatever coach Moss has in mind that's what that's what I'll do you look like you're feeling good physically though like you have some burst you, you got some juice uh, the arm looks lively H how are you feeling physically uh, the probably the best I've felt in three years uh, to tell you the truth and, and like you said just running the ball I felt more explosive something I worked on a lot in the offseason was my speed and my acceleration after my knee injury I felt like how much it uh, hindered my performance of not being able to get out of the pocket not being able to extend plays and drives with my legs and so that was something I really focused on uh, and, and I could see the benefits of it here is just that first step explosion I feel like I'm back to myself and when you have confidence in your legs you have confidence in your arms so those throws that I've been making you know you have a little bit more confidence in it because you feel healthier all around. So I'm just excited to hit the ground running, and I can't wait uh, for week one. But we got a preseason to get through first, kind of iron out some details. The nice thing about preseason is usually you try some things that you normally wouldn't in a normal game, see what you can get away with. It's not always pretty because you're trying some new things, uh, and, and then see what you can get away with for week one. So we've got uh, five schools with young football players here i know you, you haven't been in montreal much there's only been a couple days uh we've been in three rivers but for the whole time but um just making an impact in, in the community and i know you signed a bunch of autographs here and stuff like I, I know that's a core value of the organization of coach moss like what does it mean to you to have a bunch of these young guys running around absolutely it's a future generation i remember myself as a little kid uh just getting an autograph it, it lit my whole world up you know it made my day I'll never forget the time you know when I threw my hat up to the Buffalo Bills quarterback and he signed it he was like a third string guy at the time but a professional football player signed my signed my hat I, I showed that off I wore that hat all the time and so just being able to give back to these guys because we've all been in their shoes before you know I started playing football when I was six years old and you look up to these professional athletes and it's cool to be on the other side as the professional athlete to have this platform to bring a smile to these kids faces to sign an autograph and just see how excited 
excited they are. They're helping me learn some French too, because they're saying some French uh, sentences that I can't quite put together yet, but uh, they're, they're helping me out. And so that's, uh, it's been great try just communicating with them and seeing how happy they are to be here. Because football's a game, right? You're supposed to have fun. And sometimes in professional football, you forget about having fun. And so when you see these kids out here smiling, throwing the ball, running around, it just reminds you that you got to sit back and just have some fun. Where were you when you got that close? It was at an NFL camp in San Diego. I chased him down. Do you remember who it was? I don't remember. I, I, like I said, I think it was a third string guy. And uh, I chased him down. I said, will you sign my hat? And he, and he said, no. And I just kept, I was persistent, persistent. And he walked up to his room and uh, it was my hat. And then he signed his own Buffalo Bills visor and threw it down to me. Oh, and yeah, so he was kind of deking me a little bit. I was like, man, these guys. But uh, yeah, like I said, I'll never forget that. And, you know, trying to give back as much as I can with this platform I've been given. Uh, and that's, that's what it's all about.